Hey everyone, here's a question on parallelogram. Two adjacent angles of parallelogram are as 2 is to 3. Find the measure of all angles. So they have given the ratios of two angles here, that is adjacent angles, which is 2 is to 3. We have to find out the measure of all the angles. So they have not given one angle, they have just given the ratio 2 is to 3. Now what are adjacent angles? Adjacent angles are which are present side by side, like D and A are adjacent angles, D and C are adjacent angles, C, B is adjacent angles. So what D and A are not adjacent, D and B are opposite angles. Okay. Now we have given the ratio, right? So let us take angle. I'm just assuming, okay, let this angle and this A and B be two adjacent angles, and the ratio is two is to three. So whenever ratios are given, we'll take a variable and we're gonna write it as two x and three x. We it's just an assumption that A and B are two adjacent. I'm assuming it. So let angle A be equal to 2x because the ratio is uh, 2 is to 3 and angle B be 3x. This is 2x and this is 3x. Now we're going to use a property here. The property is that in a parallelogram the sum of adjacent angle is supplementary. So if you don't know supplementary, supplementary means when you add two angles the sum is 180, we're going to call it as supplementary. Or simply just write down that sum of two adjacent angles in parallelogram is 180 degree. So we're going to use that property here. So sum, sum of two adjacent angle, two adjacent angles in parallelogram gram is 180 degree. So when you add the two adjacent angles, sum is 180 degree. So we're going to add this angle A and B because the adjacent angle. So angle A plus angle B should be equal to 180 degree. So here angle A is 2x, so 2x plus angle B is 3x. So 3x should be equal to 180 degree. So 2x plus 3x is 5x, so 5x is equal to 180 degree. We want only the x values to so transpose 5 to the other side. So this will become x will be equal to 180 divided by 5. Now cancel this in 5 table, 5 ones are and this is 5, 3 is a 15, F uh, 3 will be the remainder so we'll get 36. So we got x value is equal to 36 but this is x value, we have to find out the angles here. So we know angle A is equal to 2x so which will be 2 into 36 degree which will be equal to 72 degree. So here we got angle A is equal to 72. I'm going to erase this part. I'm going to write it as 72 degree. Right. Similarly, I'm going to find out angle B. So angle B is equal to 3x. So which is 3 into 36. So when you multiply this two, we will get 108. Now how to find out angle D and C? If you see angle D is opposite to angle B and angle C is opposite of angle A. So in parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. We're going to use that property since, since opposite, opposite angles are equal, which means angle A will be equal to angle C. So therefore we can write down angle C is also equal to 72 degree and angle B will be equal to angle D. Therefore we can say angle D is equal to 108 degree. So we have found all the four angles. So that's it we have used two property here that is sum of two adjacent angle is 180 degree and uh, opposite angles are equal in parallelogram. I hope this question is clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.